oiled your heater up with uh, heating oil. Yep. We'll now show you the uh, the, way, the method of lighting it, a safe method, because yep. uh, some people do have some issues where they use like, um, all, uh, you, know, you know that start your bastard stuff people spray in there? Okay. They use that and then it blows up. So right. you really can't do safety that sort of thing. Yeah. Safety first, it's yep. got to be safe. You've got to yep. make sure you do it. If you do it to the instructions, no problems. Okay. Just make sure we follow the instructions. Excellent. So first thing to bear in mind is you've got your butterfly damper, which we showed you when we assembled it in there. Yep. You need to open that up. Always open that up yep. and uh, put it up like that. And this catch then holds it. Perfect. When we want to turn it off, we're going to hit that catch with our foot. And here it go, bang, it shuts it off. Yep. And that's how it shuts it off. So okay. you've got to make sure that's open. Um, and I always do that before I fill it, just because it's a safety thing, you know, make yeah, sure it's yeah, done. No problem. Then we need to open this up, which is where we've filled it. And uh, if you open it up like that, you can see now we've filled it. It's, you know, what, 75 mil below the top. Yep. It'll always light better if you fill it up yeah, um, that makes sense. to the top. Yep. If you try to light it when it's right down the bottom, it's, it's an issue. Yep. And if you can make sure there's a bit of fluid sort of around there, that'll yep. also light a lot better. Now, okay. we supply a starting torch, but most people don't use them, seriously. Yep. They're hard to put out, they're whatever, but the old guys, they love their lighting yep. torch. Yep. That's yep. why you get a lighting torch. Well, I guess they've been around a long time. They've been around a long time, you know, back in the 50s, they always had their lighting <laughs> torch, so they still want one. Some packing. Yep. We even supplied you some free <laughs> packing that you can use. So I kept it. What I do is, I just stick that in there, splash it around a bit, yep. and then uh, you can use your matches, cigarette lighter, whatever you've got. We just light that, and as you can see, that's burning. Yep. Because it's got a bit of caro, it gets a bit of a flame. Yep. And you just merely poke that in there. Yes. Although that might look a little bit dangerous, it's actually not that dangerous. The first time you light them is always the hardest. Yeah, okay? and this is a brand new one, obviously. This is brand new, so it's, it, as you can see there, it's sort of, uh, it's slowly getting a bit of flame down in there on the oil. It's got to heat the oil up a little bit. Yeah. And uh, we probably should, it's the oil vapour that's burning, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. burns on top of the oil and the fume. So here, it, uh, as you can see, it's taking a little bit of time before it actually gets going into the oil to go up the flue. Yep. Sometimes uh, I sort of go like that to drain the flue. Yep. Or we'll give it a bit of a blow. But um, because there's no soot, what happens is when it's an old heater and it's sooted up, the soot gets all the moisture in it and that really starts burning really yeah. quickly. Yeah. Whereas with this one here like this, it doesn't want to start burning. You can see oh, the flames just... Yeah creeping around there and start going up. Yeah, you and can the see first the, time. You can see the air being drawn through yeah, as well. Yeah, it's drawn through. Yeah. Um, so it's sort of a, it's quite an event when you first yeah, light one no, of these it's, days. It's, it's a Christian. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Now it seems to be burning a little bit slow here, depending on your fuel. Sometimes people will, uh, you know, the fuel that, uh, that people get is not real good at lighting. Yeah. And so it takes a little bit longer the first time. Yeah. Always after that, once it's sorted up, and you should burn it for sort of eight hours or something yeah, like the yeah. first time you light it. Run it in. Make sure you run it in properly, and then she'll burn really good. Now, as you can see, that's taking a bit longer than normal. Yeah. I'm a bit surprised at that taking yeah. that long. Well, it's probably not a bad but, thing that we're showing yeah. people this because it does obviously. I think there's a perception that you just light a match, throw it in, and away. Yeah, in a way it goes. Obviously, you do. Yeah. you need to sort of just nurture that bit of a burn yeah. and stuff. It's pretty much like that the yeah. second time. It lights much quicker. Yeah. yeah. You can hear the noise now. Yeah. It's drawing. Just starting to draw, yep. Other than the obvious thing, Jeff, of sort of heating sheds, what other uses are these good for? Okay, um, well, people use them for frost control. We've yep. sold many of them for frost control. Okay. Uh, other people have used them near an animal shelter or something. Obviously, you don't want it in with an animal where no. it's going to get knocked over. No. But if it's outside, that uh, you can use it in an animal shelter to help uh, make sure uh, they keep warm at night, yeah, and that yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, people have used them for heating up plastic tunnels and that sort of thing. So yeah. they fire it out the end, you yeah. don't fire it in, in no. the tunnel, but the heat, they just get the heat drawing through past the heater itself, yep. and that'll use it for in, in tunnels to keep it a bit warmer in winter so the veggies grow. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but in workshops, you know, parties, yeah. things like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Beautiful on the patio, the real talking point, I find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got to watch your roof if your roof's too close, yeah. uh, and if you've got ocelite or shake yeah. off, yeah. no good, yeah, they'll just burn that straight away. Sense, yeah. Put it out on the lawn, let yeah. the heat go up, and, yeah. and the heat will reflect off into no, your patio right. area. Yeah. So one other question, Jeff, is obviously you talked about well, we're lighting the, the oil now. Can you just yeah. talk about what's actually, how okay. it's actually operating? What actually happens is the heat is burning on the oil yeah. once the oil gets going, yeah. and it burns up through the flue. Yes. Now you'll notice there's all these vents on the flue here. Yeah. They suck in a second lot of oxygen, so yeah. you get a burn happening on the oil and a burn happening in the flue. Yeah. Some of the hot air gets sucked through here and blown back down on the oil, so that heats the oil, 
and it sets it going so you get this uh, sort of recirculation happening and that's what keeps it running. So you don't need to plug it, plug it into a power porn no, or anything no, like no. that. You just light the heater out in the paddock or wherever you want to use it and away it goes. But you can hear it going now. So here it starts going now and it's really drawing. Yeah, now she's going. Right. You can hear that noise now, Phil. It's really drawing through yeah, and yeah. sucking the air up. Yeah, Your flames are starting to come out the top here. This is the burn we're looking so for. So this is the burn we're looking for yeah. when you get it like that. Now once you see the flames coming out the top, I would always then just close this down a bit yeah. with your three holes open like that. Yeah. And then you can just pop that on and away it goes. Now it's a good idea just to watch it for a little while like that and let it heat up a bit. Yeah. Because it's it's pretty critical that your cast iron elbow here gets hot. Yes. Because that's then forcing hot air down. So you yeah. want to leave it open a little bit. As it's burning away there, you'll see the flames come up again and then you can slowly regulate it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you, as you said, I think earlier, that you, it's really a case of just getting a feel for the type of fuel you're burning, yep. the environment you're in, the yep. airflow, ventilation, and then yep. just setting, get in the best setting yeah, for a try and yeah. get the most economic burn. Yep. Yeah. And you'll smell now, you can smell a bit of sort of oil or something yeah, yeah. coming yeah. off, but the first time you burn them, you always get that bit of a yeah. smell, so yeah. that's not something too unusual. It's sort of sealing everything up as it yeah. does it. And, yeah. uh, and away it goes, yeah. And, and you'll see some smoke coming off different areas. Yep. It always gets little puffs of smoke yep. coming out of there. It does perfect smoke rings. Yeah, perfect. But um, yeah, that's because of all the surface and there's been oil on these bits when they spun. And so that's some of them have had oil to keep yeah. from rusting when it That's rain. right, yeah. 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 So that all will, will burn off fairly quickly and yeah. then it's there. That's you really can see now the flue's already just getting a tinge. Yeah. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but a tinge of red in the flue. Yeah. So at this point now, I just close that down a little bit. Yeah because you probably don't need to burn yeah. much more. And you can really hear that change. It's no clear a change. Yep. Down, yeah. And if you want it, you can now put your economy damper on. Yeah. So if you put that on in there, um, that just keeps, keeps some heat in the flue, yes. keeps it all hot, stops the air rushing out, and that'll help make it run a little bit longer. Now you probably wouldn't want to close it down too far at this point. Yeah. You want to keep it sort of open, something like that. And you might have noticed then, but the the fire actually went out on the oil when I first closed that down. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, something happened. That went out, it kept burning in here and then poof, it went back down on the oil. Okay. So that'll happen, particularly when it's new and yeah. it still hasn't stooled up. Yeah, so it's just drawing a bit of out from other places. Yeah. yeah, see, it's gone out again there now. And that's, yeah. there's a couple of reasons for that. One, this isn't hot enough. Yeah. We haven't been burning long enough, you know. Yeah. And in your workshop, you'll just be working on your machine or doing what you're doing and, yeah. you know, 10 minutes later you walk over and close it down, yeah. whereas we're doing it. And of course it would be a lot easier to light it from that wall. The next time yeah. it just lights so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The crucial thing as well to mention probably is if you use all your fuel because you're doing a long way, yeah. you know, a long day, which I know you're always doing long days on the farm, you can't come in and fill it up when it's still hot. Right. Yeah. It's got to cool down, it's got to be really That's cool. Very important, yeah. Because if you try to pour fuel in there when it's hot, or when it's burning, that's a real issue. Yeah, yeah. Some people will think, oh, I'm running out of fuel. If I open up and pour some in, yeah. well, because it's so hot and the vapors in the container hitting the hot air, they'll burst into yeah, flames. Yeah. So you I can't think, do that. I think you said it really important at the beginning. Yeah. Is it's always good to start from a full yeah. tank and then really and then burn it through. Yeah, you can close ahead. it down and shut it down. Think ahead. Yeah. And if it does go out, well, you're going to have to wait half an hour or more till yeah. it's cool. You should be able to touch it and it would be cool. Now, straight away, this will stay hot for quite a while. Yeah. As you can feel, the heat's coming off yeah, now. So say that really the whole thing stays hot for a yeah. long time. So you need at least half an hour for it to cool down before you put fuel in. Yeah. And especially if you haven't cleaned it, like it gets all like carbon and stuff in there. Yeah. And what people don't realise is sometimes that carbon's got a little flame there. And yeah. they think it's out, but yeah. it's not. Pour your fuel in and suddenly it bursts into flame. Yeah, and you don't want that to happen. So it's very important to make sure it's really cold before you fuel it up. In our factory, we, we get about 12 hours out of it, out of the burn pretty yeah. comfortably. Um, and, and we fill it up in the morning, yeah. light it, and that's it. Yeah, no, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah so yeah. it works pretty good. Well, Jeff, I think the last thing we've got to do now is it's cold outside, so we're going to get a cold beer. Yeah. And thanks for coming up. Really well, shall we turn it off? Oh, well, yeah, why yeah. not? Yeah. I mean, it should burn longer, really, for the first time you burn it. Yeah. But let, let's just see how we yeah. shut it off. So to turn it off, what you'll want to do is you basically need to turn this around, and I actually just use my toe yeah, to do it like that rather than yeah. finger, and I just put that around there and poke it underneath. You'll see there the little catch? Yeah. You want to poke it underneath there. Now, that's really, you can hear it. Yeah. It shuts it down. Shuts it's right not down. getting the air, it's closing down. Now, the problem may be, because we're, this is a freshly lit one, 
when we hit the butterfly damper, it's still sucking a little bit of yeah. the air in, and yeah. sometimes that can be a bit of an issue. But yeah. it should pretty well, once it's, if we let it cool down for, we say 10 minutes, now yeah. that's sort of the safety factor, we probably don't leave it for 10 minutes yeah, every yeah. time, yeah. especially once the heat is going, but if you've got, 20, if you've got 10 minutes, yeah. leave it for 10, yeah. that's the safest thing. Yeah, yeah. And, and then you know you can walk away and it's out. So if we just let it quieten down a bit for another minute or two, um, and you'll notice with the temperature coming, coming off of this, it's still very hot everywhere. That's still quite hot. Yeah. So that's sort of keeping all the air yeah. quite hot, ready yeah. to combust. And so you want that to cool down a bit and slow right down before you, before you do. And see how that's sort of chuffing up and down? It's, well, it's hunting for air now, isn't it? It's hunting, it's yeah. trying to get more air in. Yeah. Yeah. So once you cool it down, you basically just put your foot on that pedal, and almost straight away it's put it out. Yeah, you can hear that straight yep. away. Straight away, she's dead now because we've let it cool down. Perfect. If you've got 10 minutes, that's a good thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Awesome. Time to go out in the sun well, and, now I'm and enjoy the beer. Exactly right. Thank you for coming. Thank you.